Hello, mga kapatid, bilang mga katanda, I felt it necessary to warn you, children, parents, brothers and sisters, and Christ, all with a variety of experiences, though, alam natin na tayo yung malakas ng Panginoon. Those strong, not to love the world, It is the certainty directive and intuitive knowledge. It's a mean uh, mental, mental knowledge without uh, no, knowing without mental process, intuitive. Or shall we say sharp insight. That comes from fellowship with the loving God and with His Son Jesus Christ. Ito ang dapat ating sentro sa ating pagmumuhay of our witnessing today and forever. It's a practical evidence that Jesus who then rose from the dead is still living and that His Spirit is operative now in the lives of His people that cannot be assisted or denied. Alam po natin na everyone, lahat po tayo ay naghanap ng pangunawa sa ating sarili. May kailangan na pa rin sa inyong sarili. So, ang kaya? Sino ba ako? What does God expect from me? Kaya nung nasa taong ito. Does God really plan my life? Of course. Na tayo ay may plano na nakalangin sa akin. Di God. How can I find true identity and a confusion yung ating pagkikinal lang sa ating sarili? Paano natin mga sa kaguluhang mundo? Now, regardless of our age, our circumstances of birth. God does not consider us here by accident or doomed by the destiny of Tadhana. So, but if God looks at the whole of us, it's part of us separately. We are worthy souls. It's with a definite mission. It's our unit, given the urgent needs of time and place. There is a unique niche and open lugar para sa atin and a mission to be accomplished that if totally dis disregarded, it will not be done. 
isipin ko lang na lang tayo ay may bawat responsibility, responsibility o obligasyon para sa kanya. Nais nice nila kasi yung mga tubig ay miss natin sa kanya. Pero ang tao yun ay wala nang pakialam. Pansarili ka pa na lang ang nilalangis. Kaya I brought out this uh, topic of fellowship. Maraming maraming tao yung nakalimu sa amin. The fact that God has endured our existence and meaning and purpose does not negate the possibility that we we need to reject this calling. Huwag natin ikaya na. Mayroon talagang maayaw sa panawagan na ating Diyos. Responsible freedom is the secret of our existence under God. And the acceptance of the demands and challenges of freedom is the very basis of our fellowship with God. Now, if our purpose is to fulfill God's work in our lives, no choice is actually unimportant to us, or in some way, great or small, it is filled with the possibility of true service of God. For example, God desires fellowship with us long time ago, and Jesus opens the way. Nais ni Jesus Christ na maging maayos ang buhay po natin. What I mean is converted to Ano ba yun? Ito po ang mga paraan. How, how are we not to live? We are not to live the beauty life of an insane person who lives in darkness. Yung po ang ayaw ni God. Ayaw ni Christ. <coughs> How are we not to live? We are not to live the beauty life of an unsaved person who lives in darkness. And how are we to live? We are to live Una una, put off the old self and put on the new self. Di ba pa kung new year ngayon? Ang dati-dati. Yung resolution nun, ginagawa pa rin ngayon yung iba. Pero, bilang Christian, how are we to live? na ka ng pot of the old self and pot on the new self being made like God. Maraming sabihin nyo, brother, but ano ba yun? What does it mean being made in God's image? Certainly, the characteristics are not under consideration since God is His spirit. It is then that we are made inwardly. We are created or formed by God inwardly in His image. God possesses certain characteristics such as mentalic, emotion, and will. And ito ay hindi niya ay pinagkalit. Pinagkalit. Pinagkalit po sa atin. Enable, he enable us to share in these characteristics in this attribute, I mean, necessary for fellowship with God. Ang tao must be able to think rationally in order to comprehend God and the possibility of fellowship with Him. Thus, we given this characteristic of intellect, emotion, and will. 
tayo ay capable of knowing and communicating with God in a very personal way. Kanina ay tanong ko, how about anyone can find any our true identity in a confused world? Confused dahil ang dami yung katuban na hindi naman ayon sa kaluban ng Diyos. Marami ang yung kabataan, yung generation na confused sa kanilang mga kaisipan. Alin ang susundin? Alin ang tao? Alin ang mali? Nice kuli one again. Before we can find our true identity, we must realize first that we are formed by God in His image, in what we think. Tayo ay lupo ng Diyos, in what we think. So, bagay sa ating Kapustuhan siguro na sundin yung gusto natin ay nagkakasala. We are deformed by sin. Dahil sa kapinsalaan ng ating nagawang mali. We have broken relationship with God and freedom from sin works on us. Kaya may mga taong umapatay dahil sila ay hawa ng kaaway namin. So we are, kung tayo na deform, dahil sa kasalanan, we are all guilty. We are all guilty of sin and we are bandits of sin is personal. Hindi ito kasalanan yung tatay, hindi kasalanan yung nanay, yung tiyak, iyo. Kasalanan mo, kasalanan mo. Kasalanan ng parents mo, kasalanan nila. So, bandits is personal. Ang ating pag-alipin sa kasalanan ay personal. And the wages of sin is death. Alam po natin yun. Ang kapayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Subalit, mahal tayo ni God. Datapwa, ngunit, God still loves us and provides us a way. Freedom from sin is personal and we are transformed by God through Christ. That is what we call pagpapagunan niyo. Transformation. So, di ba natin po? We are formed by God in work. Dahil sa katigasan natin mo ulo, hindi tayo sumusunod sa kanya, gali videos, so we are deformed by sin. So, balit, mahal tayo ni God, ayaw tayong pakawalan, may transformation ang mga mangyari. Transformation means pagpapagong anyo. And everybody has the potential of being transformed by God into a new creature in order to enjoy the original benefits of fellowship. Di ba gusto natin yun? Natapos tayo magkasala, tayo ay bibigyan pa ng Panginoon ng pagkakataon na pag-uwi. Para lang ma-enjoy natin ang original benefits of fellowship. Now, what else are we to do? Mga kapatid, sa panahon ngayon, ang dami yung pangyayari hindi katawa, hindi kasiyas. So, be go, be what's good. Because the entrance of Satan is still present. And when we reach 
the age of accountability, when we can use the God-given characteristic of entry, emotion, and will, we become we become get we become guilty of sin. Consequently, balance of sin is very soft. However, ang pagkakalipin natin sa salanan is personal and nature. So, each of us, each of us, all isa po sa atin must suffer the consequences of our sin. We struggle. We struggle daily with sin, but when our life are, are, on, are in the Lord, are on the Lord, there is hope and consolation. So yun, pag-asa lang natin kung tayo yung tutupo. Love the Lord, trust, and obey, yun lang. Again, we struggle really with sin, but when our life are on the Lord, there is hope and consolation. In spite of our religion, in spite of our rebellious heart, God still desires God still desire to have fellowship with us. But we cannot achieve fellowship with God through our own merit due to our continual sin. Fellowship with God is possible through His grace. Alam po natin na si God does not promise material blessings to those who lead His will, but He does promise peace of mind and closer relationship with Himself. Kaya yung inawit natin ang peace assurance. Totoo yun. Totoo ang totoo. Sa edad ko pa naman kayo, hindi ako nagpapatuto sa inyo. If Jesus teaching an example would really be valid, there would be a happier world, not a confused world. Again, if Jesus teaching is an example, would really be followed, there would be a happier world to live in. Hindi magulo ang mundo. Ang tanong, has Jesus captured you and brought you into the everything for the shape of the will of God? Kung ang sagot niyo ay ang mga, you, because that is the way we're doing. Has Jesus captured you and brought you into the everything fellowship of the world God? Kung ang sagot mo ay yes, very good. Because there is liberty. So bali, the essence ang pinakabiwa of good fellowship, friendliness, and love is in Christ's church. In it, I have been urged repeatedly to a higher living. Sana kayo din. Kalitin ko po. Ang pinakabiwa of good fellowship, friendliness, and love is in Christ's church. In it, I have been urged repeatedly to a higher living. In it, I have fellowship with you friends, mga kapatid, committing, committed to the same way para yung tayo ng pananakala tayo. Without you, kapatid, my life at times would have burned up very low if indeed it had gone out. Kung wala kayo, you are my inspiration. Iwan ko sa inyo ang tatlong principle sa script 
Jodie Knocking and I had some other. Our scripture reading, I might that long principles behind the Christian fellowship. Ona, our fellowship is grounded in the testimony of God's word. Ang nilag ko ay hindi ko proporo, hindi ko idea, pero it's grounded sa salitan ng Diyos. Pangalawa, it is mutual depending on the unity of the rivers. Sana huwag yun ang bago. Pangatlo, it is renewed daily to the Holy Spirit. Without this underlying strength, togetherness is impossible. Katapatan po ang pinapagaman natin sa ngayon. True fellowship combines social and spiritual interaction and it is made possible only through a living relationship with Jesus Christ. Remember, mga kapatid, when you offer your life with a heart joined to God in the midst of pressure, all your different deficiencies will be made new and able to stay on track even by your father in the Bible. Nabagyan ko kanina yung higher level. Dito kasi sa ating fellowship sa iglesia natin sa minun. Kaya totally I've been words to higher living meaning I'm not hindi ko na sarili nito. We are not confirmed to the world standard but rather to be an example and do this thing remaining unspeaked by worldly things na namin dito sa iyo. Bago ko magtapos, ang buhay has been a choice between God and Eden. So, mga kapatid, choose you this day and you will try life effectively sa mga katawan po natin this body and employ this wonderful brain that God has given you Given me to see you yourself as a successful, energetic, happy person and fulfill your destiny as a child of God. Thank you. Salam.